I am Verena Smith, and welcome to another edition of Issues in Focus. It is a day after the fact. Yes, our President Obama was on the Hill, he was on the, in the Capitol, and he came, he saw, and he conquered. Because before he got there, he was in the polls going down, and since he has been to Capitol Hill, the numbers have moved up significantly. And I say, great, the president made a great speech, yes. The president in the State of the Union address spoke to the issues of the middle class, those of us who felt that we were being ignored, those of us who felt that no one was hearing our cries for help, no one heard our cries for bailout, yes. Like Wall Street, Main Street has been under the fire. No jobs, no money, and we are just out here on a limb. But finally, the president took to Capitol Hill and he took to address our needs in terms of jobs. And he has said that for 2010, his focus will be jobs, jobs, jobs. And to that I say, amen, amen, amen. Now, having said that, he made some other promises because after all, jobs will come because somebody is hiring someone. And he has said that he plans to ask Congress for a jobs bill right now. It should have been yesterday. And he's saying, we want that bill now. We'll see what happens. He intends to pass on $30 billion to community banks so that small business people will get some money for credit. He promises to rein in Wall Street in terms of regulations, among other things, because as I said, the goal is to get the economy in a, sh in a good shape so that we can move forward confidently, that in three months, we don't hear again that jobs, job loss, which stands at 10% under moved a point or two back. You know, 10% unemployment, we all know is not true. Uh, in most urban communities and in really on where most people live on Main Street, Main Street, the job numbers are 12, 13, or 14 percent. I know too many people who are out of work, so I know for more than yesterday, more than last year, from 2007, so I know it's more than 10 percent. Most of them have given up. But again, I'm glad that the president reassured us that he has heard our voices. I'm glad that the president has reassured us that he wants to fix this. I am reassured that the president will call his economic advisors into a meeting. Uh, when I speak of Summers and Geithner in particular, I hope Elizabeth Warren is doing some oversight, even if that is not her job description, because if this situation continues to erode, which I hope it won't, we are going to be really in serious trouble. Yes, he also reassured us that he does not intend to uh, Put his, you know, to put health care reform on the black burner, and he's devoted to getting it done. I say yes, yes, yes. Health care is seriously tied to the economy, and there are many people who are out of work, and there are many people who have jobs and have no health care. So there's no way to say to the party of no, and you know who they are, the GOP, who continue to believe that healthcare reform is not needed. Yes, healthcare reform is needed badly, both for those who have work, who are working and have no health insurance, and the many people who are laid off, right as I speak, who will end up with no healthcare, because of course, they won't be able to afford the COBRA payments. So again, the president was on the Hill. He was welcomed, we are reassured. My question is to look at the how it will be done, when it will be done, and of course, process. All of this is about processing because we know that jobs have been saved, now we are looking for jobs created. Where will you and I get involved in all of this and get a piece of all that he said? The speech was wonderful, was not surprised. I voted for President Obama. I felt that he had the ability to inspire and give us hope, but again, test is in the eating. You have told me the words, no, I await the deeds, and I know that he cannot do it alone. So Congress is a part of all of what happens. I have my eyes on Congress, and I hope you too have your eyes on Congress. 
because whatever the president does, Congress is a part of it, and to a larger extent, they are the part, they are the ones who really have not seemed to hear our voices or understand the urgency of what's happening out here. So again, we're talking issues in focus. We are talking the president's address to the nation on Wednesday. What are your thoughts? Did you hear what you wanted to hear? Do you believe that he will be able to deliver as he has promised? Do you think Geithner and Summers are doing a good job? Do you think they have become a credibility problem for the president? Many people think so. So again, leave a comment on this video. Leave a comment on my blog, zipinpolitics.com, zipinpolitics.com. We'd love to hear from you. Join the conversation. I am Verna Smith, and this has been Issues in Focus. Talk to you next week.